Thank you for joining us this month as we take up the invitation and join together with thousands of YWAMers from around the world as we pray for community development. On the second Thursday of every month, YWAM locations, staff, students, and supporters join together in prayer for the mission and for what God is doing in the nations. Join YWAMers around the globe in praying and hearing from God. He is inviting you. Thank you for joining us this month as we pray about God's intentions for communities around the world, both poor ones and rich ones. We will pray about community development, which YWAM worker Carrie Fishlock describes as helping communities discover their true identity and helping them step towards God's intentions. Framed within a biblical worldview, Carrie believes community development addresses one of the biggest topics of all. It's about the kingdom of God overcoming the kingdom of darkness. It's about Jesus bringing life to the full, undoing the work of the thief who comes only to kill, steal, and destroy. It's about truth replacing the lie of the enemy. It's about seeing more of the kingdom of God expressed in our families, communities, and nations. It's about men and women developing right relationships with God, other people, and the physical world. Within this context, community development is the need of every community and the responsibility of every believer. It's about discipling individuals, families, communities, and nations. Coupled with the biblical understanding of poverty, community development is not only about physical things such as building water tanks and hospitals, but happens when communities step away from lies and into truth, from pride to humility, from corruption and greed to living the way God intended and when broken relationships are replaced by healthy relationships where healing and fullness can be experienced. Please join with YWAM's Global Prayer Day called The Invitation during the month of February to pray about to pray with us about God's intentions for communities around the world. You're particularly invited to pray during our prayer day, February the 8th. If you only have a few minutes to pray, then we would ask you to pray for the communities in which you minister that the communities would break away from Satan's grip and into the truth and direction God has for them. Here's a few ways that you can prepare to pray. You can look at praying 2 Chronicles 7, verse 14, which says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sins, and will hear their land. You can pray specifically that God's people would humble themselves and that he would heal our land. Thank God for being the one who transforms. Pray that Wyramers would repent for the times we have taken on the role of Savior rather than pointing to him. You can pray for Wyram ministries that are intentionally involved in community development, that students and workers would lead transformation from a solid biblical perspective. You can acknowledge your own brokenness and ask for his healing and restoration within your relationship with God, man, others, and the physical world. Pray that the church would take up its role in discipling communities and equipping people for works of service. You can pray for YWAM's University of the Nations Community Development and Justice Center, that it would continue to grow in relational networks and help equip people to walk out a biblical worldview very practically in every sphere of society. Pray for multiplication of YWAM's Community Development School, can pray specifically for the new school that's starting in Nepal on February the 19th of 2018. You can pray specifically for those involved with Mercy Ministries with Youth of the Mission. Pray for those living in brokenness that the lives of the enemy would be broken, including those not only in impoverished communities, but also in wealthy communities, and that it would be replaced with God's truth. Pray for God to be faithful in our cries for the oppressed, and that he will soften the hearts of community leaders. Pray about Jesus' desire that we have a full life. Pray this verse for communities and for people that God brings to your mind. John 10, verse 10, which says, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. So there's a number of things that we would suggest as you look at how to take action in regards to community development. First, you can learn about where poverty comes from. 
One way to help you do this is to read the article called The True Nature of Poverty that's linked to in the letter. You can also watch a video entitled What is Pro- Poverty that is also in the letter. You can look at attending a YWAM Community Development School or a Community Development Seminar. You can attend the Karam Dio free online training course with Disciple Nations Alliance. Uh, there's a video that you can watch about it to get more information that's also in the letter. You can also build relationships with people in your community and gain understanding of their story, hopes, and fears. Ask God that His vision is for your community and ask Him how you, as Christ's ambassador, can step out personally. Learn about community development principles at YWAM's Community Development Hub. YWAM Mercy Vietnam is a local locally run community development program. In the letter, you can watch some very powerful stories about some of the people involved in the projects, including Chien, Ton, and Hugh. There's also a video in the letter called Charity That Hurts. You can watch that to learn how sometimes our efforts to help others can actually make their situations worse. There are also quite a few books that you can read on the topic. They're also linked to in the letter. Those books include The Book That Made Your World and Truth and Transformation by Vishal Mangdalwadi, The Book That Transformed Nations by Lauren Cunningham, Walking with the Poor by Brian Myers, When Helping Hurts by Stephen Corbett and Brian Fickert, Discipling Nations by Darrow Miller, Old Testament Template by Landa Cope, His Kingdom Come, edited by Jim Steyer. The Great Omission, by Steve Saint. Bring Your Eyes and See, Our Journey into Justice, Compassion, and Action, by Stephen Marie Good. You can also watch other videos that are linked to from the letter, such as Who Broke Africa? Development Dreaming, by Johnny Uman. And Salmon and Garbage City, Zabaline. As you do that, Uh, We'd encourage you to share on facebook.com slash youth of the mission and post a picture and add a comment about how you prayed. You can also head over to twitter.com and search for the hashtag pray with YWAM and tweet about your prayer time and post a picture. You can also post a photo on Instagram and use that same hashtag pray with YWAM. Also, please send us an email at prayer at ywam.org letting us know how you prayed and what God revealed to you. So when people do email us or leave feedback at Twitter or on Facebook, uh, we're actually able to then share with the wider community and with you about what, how people prayed last time. So last month, we actually prayed for YM Foundational Values, number one and to three. So here is some of the feedback that we got. Many YMers and friends of YM posted on Facebook that they prayed. Some of the countries represented included Malawi, the United States, India, Canada, New Zealand, United Kingdom, Uganda, South Africa, Zambia, and Italy. One person person prayed for a YWAM ministry center to be started where she is located as a way to further value two, which is to make God known. Several people noted which of these three values was most on their heart that day. And YWAM South Africa had a day of prayer and fasting for YWAM's discipleship training schools. As we look to the future, this, here's some of the future topics that we have. In March, we'll be praying for the entertainment industry. In April, we'll be praying for YWAM Foundational Values number 4 through 6, which is to practice worship and intercessory prayer, to be visionary, and to champion young people. And then in May, we'll be having a refugees update. We encourage you not to miss out on future editions of the invitation. To make sure that you're informed, you can sign up for prayer updates at ym.org, find the Stay Connected button or box on the homepage, put in your email address and click sign up. You can also download prayer updates in specific languages at ym.org slash the invitation. Previous uh, editions have been available in Spanish, Portuguese, Indonesian, Korean, French, or other requested languages. You can also join the conversation about how God is leading in these prayer times. Comment on the Facebook page on the second Thursday at facebook.com slash youth of the mission. On Twitter, using the hashtag prayer with YWAM. 
And again, you can also post an image on Instagram using the same hashtag, PrayWithYWAM. You can also, as you're doing now, listen to the invitation as a podcast. You can sign up or listen to past episodes at ywampodcast.net slash prayer. And if you have a sense that God is giving you a word or direction for YWAM's prayer, please contact us at prayer at ywam.org. So thank you so much for joining us this month as we pray for community development within Youth of the Mission and around the world. And we look forward to praying with you again next month.